Hey, welcome back to the show, everybody. So we all know we're supposed to keep hydrated, and that should be about drinking water and enough of it throughout the day. But according to our next guest, you can actually get a lot of that water by eating the right foods. Here with some hydrating superfoods you'll love is holistic nutritionist Kim Dion. Welcome. <laughs> I think we all know that water is hugely important, mm -hmm. but how can we tell if we're getting enough of it? Well, like you hit the nail on the head, it is hugely important. Why is it? Because it helps us to have, you know, good circulation, helps deliver nutrients through the body, good for skin, good for detoxification. And when I say that, I mean poop and pee. Yay. Let's just get us straight, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, so, yeah. And that brings me to my next point, because often we will say aim to have about eight glasses. It's a good guideline, but we're also individual, and you can't really know how much you, m water you need versus how much water you should be having, so you should check the color of your pee. Oh. Your pee should be a light colored, like straw colored throughout the day most of the time. You should even aim to do a clear batch once or twice if you can. Really? Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to remedy this today. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have an issue with your dark colored funky pee. Yeah. Um, well, you, yeah. You, where, did I just out you? I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Always compare it to wine color. Oh. Like if it's like a vino verde, like light and effervescent, I'm okay. All but right. if it's like a dark oaky chardonnay, Watch then I've got yeah, trouble. As long as it's not red wine, you're good. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you can get a lot of hydration from foods too, which will help with that. So uh, I've just brought a lot of super hydrating super foods, which all have over 90% water in them. Wow. Nice. Okay, okay, so I was surprised to learn that one of those super hydrating yeah. super foods is cauliflower. I know. Not, a, you know, not something I would think of immediately. Lettuce, sure, cucumber, yeah. sure, but cauliflower? It's, it's true, I know, because it's so dense and spongy, yeah. but it's actually 93% water, and it's a, it, I know, and it's... Everybody in the audience is like, mind blown, too. That's right, I love to mind blow with cauliflower <laughs> and cruciferous. So it's a cruciferous veggie, so it's good because it helps the liver to detoxify, but like I said, it's 93% water, and you can use it in place of rice. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I don't know if you can, like, I, I depend on rice. I eat rice yeah. several times a week. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I can get down with you in cauliflower rice, but how would you prepare it? Let's, we are going to get start down. With, yeah, with let's start with rice. how you would prepare, because I how does this become rice? I know, I know. It's actually one of the easiest things you'll ever make, and you'll get all the nutrition. So you can do it with the hand grater, which I'm going to show you. You can also do it in a food processor, in a blender. There's all kinds of different ways, but it literally takes minutes. It's faster than making rice. Okay. Because I know you're eating brown rice, and that takes about 40 minutes to make. I'm not sure if so I'm eating you brown rice. it first? This is raw. No, raw. You just, okay. Oh, because when you do cook vegetables, just FYI, you see that it shrinks down, right? That's because of evaporation. So you're going to lose all that water when you cook it, which is great every once in a while, but if you're looking for hydration, eat it raw. So you grate it raw. Okay, I'm going to help okay, you. On which, on which? On the large okay. whole setting okay. of the grater. Right to you. Don't and hurt maybe, me. Yeah, it's, usually you have it on a plate, but for TV magic. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. That's wonderful. Okay. Okay, yeah. okay, I've got it. Yeah, got it. So, so we exciting. okay, so, then so that's good. And it's so it should end up like this, right? It ends like, up like that. It looks like rice or a little bit of feta cheese or something like that. Okay. And you can totally eat it raw if you just mix it with some other delicious uh, foods. Like I've made a Greek cauliflower rice today. You can do whatever you want, but in that I put some black olives, some fresh oregano, some capers, so it's like salty and it's, it's just delicious. All right, so and you're I'm, telling I'm me really that this actually is gonna nervous. be better than my my barbecue pork stir fry. It's different. Okay. Just different. All right, it's all right, I'm trying. It's different. <laughs> but I'm going to move on to this. I, yes. I have to say that I used to hate grapefruits. Mm -hmm. But then when I got, became pregnant with my son, I suddenly craved everything citrusy. And grapefruit was like top of my list. That's so I became awesome. obsessed. Love it now. So you've made me a grapefruit smoothie. Why is grapefruit a, a great uh, hydrating? Hydrating food. Well, it's actually the most hydrating of the citrus fruits. And you know citrus fruits have a lot of vitamin C in it. But also, so it's got 92% water. It's great for lowering cholesterol. It's great for heart health. It's great for all those things. It's just got that nice, like, tangy punch that will elevate any dish, especially a smoothie. We put strawberries in that one too, so it's like a sweet and like sour type of concoction. I would never think of putting a grapefruit into a smoothie. So tell me what exactly, you've yeah. got some berries, what else is in this? We've got strawberries, which by the way are 92% water. So they're the most hydrating of the berries. We've got the grapefruit, zing, some coconut water, yeah. a couple yeah. extras like cinnamon. There's some cinnamon, yeah, yeah I can yeah. taste that. It's beautiful. Like it? Yeah, I would never think of putting grapefruit and cinnamon but together it, too, but it really works. Right? Mm -hmm. It's oh all about gosh. these interesting flavor combinations to make superfoods taste amazing. Love it. Yeah. Save us some, save us some. <laughs> Okay, so when I think of hydrating foods, Kim, I don't necessarily think of 
salsa. Salsa, right. but why salsa? Well, salsa, because um, you got the tomatoes as the main ingredient, and tomatoes are 94% water. Now, I don't know, really? but they are, I know. It's like okay. it's just so juicy, right? Okay. But I've never actually really liked digging into a plain raw tomato, and I know I'm not alone. I know a lot of people have a thing with raw tomatoes, so I like to jazz them up, so that's why I make the salsa like that. It's got vitamin A, vitamin C. There's, there's lycopene in it, which is a really powerful antioxidant, which is, you know, obviously will help your immune system and help to fight off disease so you can get hydrated and get healthy at the same time. Tomatoes are great. We love tomatoes. Okay, so I see you've made here like looks like some kind of Tex Mex yeah. bowl a yes. little bit. So tell us what's in this. Well, I really wanted to show you a bowl because I think when people think salsa, they just think they have to pair it with chips. But you can also make it into a superfood bowl like that. And in the salsa, there's just tomatoes, onion, garlic, cilantro, mm -hmm. lime, jalapeno. Super easy. It's like it's minutes to make and it's so good. Perfect love for it. summer. Mm -hmm. So another hydrating food option are salad greens, but you've brought in something using specifically romaine. Right. How come romaine? Well, romaine is one of the more hydrating of the greens, and we love greens, they're super great. Um, but what you might not know about romaine is that there's a ton of vitamin K in it. And, and a vitamin K is a vitamin that not a lot of people talk about or get, gets enough attention, but it's great for bone health. Okay. So you're gonna get hydration and bone health, and they make a nice little vehicle, vessel, to get food into your mouth. Shoveling food into your mouth is always fun, especially when it's on a delicate this green. This is lovely, what is in here? You're gonna, I'm interested to see how you do with this. Well, it's a, it, you can put whatever you want in there. We, I just actually added a bunch of things that were already on the table, which you can do too, like what is in kitchen there? sink. Like a kitchen it's, sink? Kitchen sink canoe. That's We've, appropriate for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, see, so she's going the for rice. it. There's, in, in, there's in the there. Tex-Mex bowls in there, and Ooh. then a little bit of the mango. You know, okay. I think when you're, you know, you're doing these kinds of things, you just have to be creative and try something yeah. that you wouldn't necessarily like stick some mango in with a Tex-Mex bowl. Yeah. And the verdict? So so good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the mango, I see you paired it with yeah. cucumbers. Why do you recommend cucumbers in particular? Well, cucumbers, we know they taste fresh. You know instantly yeah. when you eat one, they're full of water. They're actually 96% water. They're anti-inflammatory. They're great for digestion. They're great to manage blood sugar. And they're just super tasty and fresh. You can put them in anything. I love actually adding them to my green smoothies. What? But, yeah. Really? Yes. Oh, yes. It doesn't get all cucumbery. Actually, I do like it's cucumber fresh. water. So well, you mix a little bit of other things in with okay. it. It's not just cucumber. All right, all right. Oh, that would be good, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that actually would be good. People make it into a soup. Um, but yeah, here you can just stick a stick through it, and it is super with pretty. Mango. With mango, with watermelon, with whatever. It's a hydrating, fancy little like you it's just like colorful off the skin. No, I didn't take off Which the skin. Which I love the skin of a cucumber, but a lot of people get rid of it. I, I know. Is it an advantage to keep the skin? It's yes. It's definitely yes. advantage in any vegetable because that's where most of the nutrients are stored in or near the skin. And with cucumbers, you, you've got you know your potassium, your magnesium, but there's a little known uh, or less known a mineral called silica in it. And silica is great for good skin. So an easy motto to remember all is right. if you want good Not skin, this, keep on the skin. Run. Oh, Kim, <laughs> thank you so much for all of these inspiring <laughs> recipes. Of course, we are going to have these recipes up at the social.ca right after the show, so you can try them out at home, and we'll be right back. Yeah.